Can everybody walk through today's video? Today's video, we're going to adjust the pinion angle on my 2003 Jeep TJ after doing the LS swap. The driveline angle does not line up properly, so we got to take care of that. So what I'm going to be setting up is a double card on, and as you can see right now, the way it's sitting, that's not going to work at all. That's going to give me some extreme vibration there, and that's not what you want. The double card on the drive shaft going into the differential needs to be as straight as possible. So right now, just taking a measurement off the rear pumpkin, and I'm about 16 degrees right there. Doing a measurement off the drive shaft, and I'm sitting at closer to 30. So in the end, I'm thinking I'm going to be about 20, 25 degrees. So one of the things you got to do is loosen up the lower control arm bolts to make it easier to twist the axle when you're ready to set the alignment. Um, then the upper control arms, if you're doing this, you have to have adjustable upper control arms, otherwise it will not work. So I'm going to be in the process of pulling the upper control arms out. Luckily, uh, they weren't too seized up. I was a little concerned and then remove the control arm. These upper control arms had not been busted free in a long time, so I was lucky to get them apart. And I'll just put some anti seize on them before I get ready and set the pinion angle up and be on our way. Now, the last thing I got to do before we can adjust the pinion angle is to remove the track bar. I do not have an adjustable track bar, but I did another video on this how I overcame that situation. So now this is where the fun begins, is to get that rear differential to twist. I used my port of power right there, jacking off the control arm mount. I tried using a little bottle jack underneath, but didn't quite work. So one last time, I want you to see the differential and U-joint um, angle. So right now, I am just using the port of power to sh crank her over. Try to get her straight as possible. That's what you want when you're using a double card on shaft. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it's going to be about 20, 25 degrees. I am about 25 degrees right now. And as you can see, there's the double card on joint comes down and pretty much it goes into the differential as straight as possible. And that's what you want when the vehicle's at a coast. Now you can see from the adjustable control arm just how much I had to adjust them to get the proper angle. Once again, checking about 25 degrees. Like I said, the double cardon coming into the differential has got to be as straight as possible. Otherwise, you're going to have some issues, especially with vibration. Vibration will take out seals, damage bearings. And once again, I want to show you the control arm is bolted down. Everything's set up. I fixed up the track bar to make it work. Now let's see this drive shaft spin. So as you guys just seen, my dry shaft turning and spinning feels good. Feels good pretty soon. Going to be able to take this thing out on the road, start doing some test driving, working out some bugs, working out some issues. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is what I did. In the end, it turned out to be about 25 degrees uh, between the dry shaft and the pinion roughly. That's what it ended up being. Moved it back quite a bit. Yes, sir. But... Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining this adventure. I'll see you guys in the next video.